COVID-19 educational series for parents. In this module, I'll be covering about COVID-19 vaccines. I'm Dr. Manu Chaudhary, pediatrician and pediatric infectious diseases physician at Rainbow Children's Hospital. As we all know, in India, we have two COVID vaccines available. One is Covaxin, the other one is Covishield. COVID vaccine in lactation mothers is highly recommended. They do not need to hold their uh, breastfeeding. They can still continue. And actually, it will be helpful for the newborn because she'll be then passing on those protective antibodies to the newborn. COVID vaccine for children, there's only one approved vaccine among a lot of trials which are going on. Uh, it's the Pfizer vaccine approved above 12 years of age and uh, yet not available in India. We are having our own trials going on starting from May uh, this year for children more than 2 to 12 uh, two years and older and hopefully we'll see results soon and probably uh, roll out of the vaccine by September this year. If a child has had COVID, and they are uh, eligible for uh, COVID vaccine, uh, which is 18 years and above, then they should go and get their vaccination. For now, government of India is saying three months. If the child is due for his routine vaccination and he or she got COVID, then uh, you have to wait at least two to four weeks post recovery to get those routine vaccination. If a young adult who's got COVID vaccine and is uh, due for uh, some co-administration of uh, booster shots like uh, diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, or they are traveling abroad where they might need some other vaccination, or if they need to complete their rabies vaccination series, then it can be co-administered with their COVID vaccine. They do not have to wait it out. So these are, this is some of the information I wanted to share regarding uh, COVID vaccine so far available in India. I encourage people who are eligible for COVID vaccine to please go and get your vaccination up to date. Uh, one important thing to understand is COVID vaccine uh, is protective against severe disease, but you can still get mild and moderate COVID or you can be asymptomatic and yet spread the infection to other people in the home. So it's very important that you still follow COVID appropriate behavior if you are stepping out of your house so that you don't bring that infection to your children or people who are not yet eligible for COVID vaccine.